welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing an exciting video. I'm doing a tutorial on the look I have on right now. I feel like it's a light, cool toned, spring, summery kind of look. I think the lip kind of ties it in to that really kind of glowy, um, cute summer look. And I'm also partnering with Flower Beauty on this video, which is extremely exciting for me. They have blown up. They're more of a drugstore type brand and they recently released some beautiful palettes which I will be using in this tutorial. The first palette I used today was the Lift and Sculpt Contouring Palette. It looks like this. It comes with a highlighter, a blush, and a bronzing contour shade. I have light to medium, but they also have another shade option as well. And the powders are super soft. I noticed when I was applying them, they just blended really nicely. I didn't have any skipping, which is a big issue with a lot of contour powders. And this can be used for a bronzer as well. So I used it to contour and bronze, which you will see in the tutorial, and a nice baby pink blush and this highlight is to die for. I'm going to do swatches here in a minute so you'll be able to see everything but this palette is basically everything you need in one to really get your face sculpted and looking nice. So I like the fact that it's all together and it's very convenient. On my eyes today I do have the shimmer and shade eyeshadow palette. I have intense natural. They do have four different selections so this is just one of the palettes and I used probably five shades in here. I went for a cool toned look even though you could go both ways. These are so fine finely milled and so soft. I didn't have any skipping as you can see everything blended really nicely you'll see in the footage coming up but I was really impressed and you can use them wet or dry. I used this inner corner wet to really make it pop. The palette also comes with a brush so it's really nice that you can kind of take it on the go and you can kind of blend in your crease. I used this for most of the look and then I used another brush to kind of do the lower lash line. So I'm really really impressed with these. I think a lot of people say you can't wear shimmers uh, in the crease which is not true. I wore shimmers all over my lid today and all in the crease and I think it looks beautiful. I feel like this is the perfect palette for spring and summer. It's just very light airy like a nice shimmery eye just kind of a natural glam for the summertime and like I said you can go bronzy or cool toned either way in one palette. And for my really intense glow I used the flower shimmer and strobe highlighting palette. It looks like this. I love that it has three different shades. So you have a gold shade, a pink, and then like a true ivory champagne shade. This is very finely milled, very, very intense highlight, as you can see, and you'll see in the tutorial. Multi-dimensional radiance, just really, really beautiful. These are intense. So barely touch them and you're gonna get a lot of pigment, a lot of shine, just really beautiful. I even added a little bit to my collarbone. So absolutely love this palette. If you want a super glowy, luminous complexion for summer, definitely check this palette out. So if you're interested, I will leave a link down below for all of these palettes. You can get them at flowerbeauty.com. And they were nice enough to give me a coupon code for 15% off. I will leave it on the screen in case you're interested in saving some moolah, but these are affordable as they are, so that's really nice as well. So let's get into some swatches and then we'll jump in the tutorial. The first palette we're gonna swatch is the Lift and Sculpt Contouring Palette. This is a really beautiful palette for bronzing up the face, giving you a really nice pink, glowy blush look, and the highlighter is intense. I love the highlighter in this palette. Next, we're gonna swatch the Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette from Flower. And this is an intense highlighting palette again. You have like a champagne, a pink, and a gold. So a color for every skin tone and you can mix and match to your liking. And then the next palette we are going to be swatching is the Shimmer and Shade Eyeshadow Palette. This is the one that I used on my eyes. Really soft, beautiful shimmer you can see here swatches really really nicely and it gives you a really blended beautiful shimmery look so now let's get into the actual tutorial and we're going to start off with that shimmer and shade eyeshadow palette i'm going to go into this light it's almost like a light silvery shade and i'm just going to start working into the crease i'm using the brush that came with the palette and it was really nice it blended nicely and it kind of fit right in the socket of my eye i did use a couple more brushes going forward to blend things out but i found that this one is usable and it's actually good so if you're on the go and you only have this one it will definitely do so I'm just going to sweep this in my crease like I would any other transition color and then I'm gonna go back into the palette and I'm going just basically light to dark I'm going into this more gunmetal silvery color and I'm going to sweep this right on top and concentrate this in the crease and we're just gonna build up the color as we go you'll see me sweeping back and forth and just making sure that everything is blended but I really didn't have any problems with skipping which was really nice. Now I'm going in with a Morphe brush to really just buff out any edges and kind of blow it out a little bit. I know a lot of people say you can't use shimmer in the crease but I think you absolutely can. It just has to be done nicely. So I'm just building up that color and then we're going to hop right back into the palette and I'm going to go into this deeper 
This is a really deeper uh, gray shade and I'm going to work this on the outer V and kind of sweep it back in through the crease. I'm just gonna build um, and basically make this a little bit darker. This is still a wearable look. I feel like this is a really pretty soft glam look, although it is deeper cool tone colors and it's shimmery, it's not like a black smoky eye. So I feel like anyone could really wear this anywhere for day or night. So after we're done blending the eyes, I'm gonna go in and do a winged liner. I'm just gonna do my typical wing. Uh, I feel incomplete without it. I just feel like it finishes the look. So you see me here just filling in my wing and perfecting it. I am using the Artist of Makeup uh, liner pen, which I've talked about a million times. If you're struggling with your winged liner, definitely try this pen out. It really just helps me and I feel like it makes it a lot easier than using a brush and a like pot. So now I'm going into the Flower Beauty Mascara. I haven't used this before, this is my first time. And I'm just gonna prep my lashes for falsies even though my lashes are sad little souls. They are just non-existent at this point because I had lash extensions. I had a lot of them break off. So this is why I'm going to apply some falsies. These are Violet Voss lashes and I will have them linked down below, but they're from their Unicorn Trio collection. Moving on to face, I am going in to the Flower Beauty Lift and Sculpt Contouring Palette. We're going to start contouring with this bronze shade in the palette and I'm using a Makeup Geek brush, the one that I love and I use it all the time. And I like this color because it's light. Obviously I have the light to medium palette. So if you're a deeper skin tone, you would wanna get the medium to deep palette. But this blended really nicely, really finely milled. And you can see it's not harsh and it's just enough color to give me that contour. A little bit more of a natural contour than I would typically go for. So I'm just kind of sweeping this on um, the inner parts of my cheekbones and just trying to slim my face out. And I'm also going to bronze around my hairline and down with a Smith brush just to really give me a more of a kind of warm look. My skin was kind of flat and pale, so we're just warming up the face. And then going back in, I'm gonna use that blush, and I love this blush because you guys know I'm all about a light pink baby doll blush. I just feel like it really makes the cheeks look baby doll-like, and I love that look, especially with my blonde hair. And I think it works with warm or cool eyeshadow tones. So I'm just going to sweep this on my cheeks, and I am heavy-handed with blush, I love it. Let's be real, I'm heavy handed with a lot of things, but that's okay because I feel like that's what works for me. So now we're gonna go back in to the Shimmer and Shade Eyeshadow Palette, again to that first shade. I'm gonna keep the lower lash line pretty, um, I wanna say light, just because we're focusing on that big wing and the glittery uh, gray lids. So I'm just gonna sweep this on the lower lash line with that Flower Beauty brush. And then I'm gonna go in to one more shade here. It's that deep charcoal shade, and I'm gonna use a smaller pencil brush and really apply this to the outer third of the lower lash line. I wanted to bring a little bit of depth, but I didn't want too much again because we have the big lashes and the big wing, and then we also have the really pretty, almost shimmery, glittery eye look. I wanted to keep it nice and simple, like a light um, glam for springtime. For the inner corner, this is my favorite part. I'm using this light, icy silver color. This is probably my favorite color in the palette, and I wet my brush, and I'm applying this to the inner corners of my eyes, and I'm gonna apply this heavily because I really want it to be dramatic, almost go um, up and connect into my eye socket where I had blended all of those shadows, so it's gonna be really intense and really bright inner corner highlight. It's just really beautiful and metallic, and then I'm gonna apply some white liner. This is actually a light pink liner, but you can use any uh, liner for your waterline just to make your eyes pop. I feel like that just makes your eyes look more awake. So now I am applying some of that Flower Beauty mascara to blend in my falsies with my natural lashes and then on the bottom lash line as well just to tie everything together and make it cohesive. To finish off the look, I'm going in with the Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. I'm gonna use the champagne color, but you can mix all of them or whichever color speaks most to you. And I'm just going to apply this to the tops of my cheekbones. I'm just gonna build it up slowly and I'm also going to apply it down the center of my nose and on my cupid's bow and just make sure that I have a really nice glow. These are buildable and very, very dramatic and luminous. So it'll give you that really kind of intense highlighting glow look for summer and spring, which I obviously love.
Now on to lips, I'm lining my lips with a nude lip liner. You can use any lip liner you have on hand, just any kind of natural nude pinky lip liner. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use the Flower Beauty Longwear Lip Cream. This is the shade Pink Bouquet. This is new to me, I've never tried this product, but it's really moisturizing and really pigmented, which is the two things I realized about it, and I think a lot of people will like that. It's more comfortable, it's not a drying formula. So I'm just applying that on the lips, and that completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget that I will have everything linked down below if you're interested, and I also have a coupon code, which I will put one more time on the screen. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you to Flower Beauty for working with me. I love working with this company, I love you guys. I'll I'll see you in the next video. Bye. All right, guys, that is it for me and my tutorial. Let me know what products stood out to you the most. I will have it linked down below again if you want to try any of the products that I used in this tutorial. I just feel like it's a really pretty kind of cool toned spring look. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.